This project was to create a cheap sous vide cooker using an electric crock pot. Sous vide is cooking food in a water bath at a precise temperature for longer than usual to enable the food to be cooked perfectly evenly throughout. Sous vide cookers cost a lot of money to buy, but you can easily make your own. I already had this slow cooker, so I wanted to see if I could repurpose it into a sous vide cooker. Using an Arduino and a temperature sensor, I was able to determine the cooker could reach the necessary temperatures for sous vide cooking. So all I needed was some method of precisely controlling its temperature. You will need one digital temperature controller. I got this one on eBay for about £10. One project box to put everything in. A mains power socket to plug the crock pot into. A kettle lead and socket to power the temperature controller and crock pot. Some electrical wire a soldering iron and solder, and a Dremel tool with cutting disc for making the holes in the project box. Measure up the temperature controller and the sockets. Mark out the project box ready for cutting. Put on your safety goggles. Then cut out the holes for the controller and the sockets. Make sure everything fits. On the temperature controller, remove the spring-loaded clips on the side before inserting it into the box. Push the clips all the way back up to hold the controller in place. Insert your kettle socket after you've soldered a short length of electrical wire to it. Connect the temperature probe to pins 5 and 6 on the controller. Attach a terminal block to the mains cable. On the other side of the terminal block you need two live wires, two neutral wires and one earth wire. Put one live and neutral wire into pins 3 and 4 on the controller. The second live wire goes into pin 1 on the controller and comes back out of pin 2 into your main socket allowing the controller to act as a switch. The remaining live, neutral and earth wires are then connected to your main socket. Drill a small hole for your temperature probe to come out of the box. Assemble your project box and screw everything together. Connect the kettle lead to the box and at this stage do not have it connected to the mains. Now comes the moment of truth. I've. Uh connected it up to the mains. All that remains is to switch it on and hope that uh, nothing goes bang. Here goes. Okay, well that's a good sign. Nothing went bang and the display is on. And it's showing 27.4 degrees, which uh, seems a little bit hot, but I can test if the sensor is working or not by putting my finger on it and indeed the temperature is increasing. So that's all good. All that remains now is to connect it up to the sous vide cooker or the crock pot and uh, see if it works. Let's go and test it. The steaks are in the cooker. They've been in there about two hours now so they're about ready to take out so let's take them out and uh, See what they're like. So they look quite good. This one has got a bit of a pink patch where obviously the heat has not gone all the way through. Um, yeah, so they just need a fry now and uh, see what they're like after that. Next, throw them onto a very hot pan or, or griddle. All you want to do is just a minute either side to steer it, and that's it, they're done. Nice! Cooked perfectly. <laughs> Delicious! So, there you have it a very easy and very cheap uh, sous vide cooker temperature controller. Um, highly recommend it, very easy to make, 
Uh, the advantage of making an external controller box rather than hacking the crock pot itself means I can use this uh, to control other things as well as the crock pot. I can use it to control a heater uh, or a chiller unit or an air conditioning unit or anything like that uh, or anything where I need to get precise temperature control. So for the cost of about 30 to 35 pound I've made myself a sous vide cooker uh, instead of splashing out what they're about 200 pounds 300 pounds something like that if you want to go and buy one for your kitchen um, if you want more details then take a look along the bottom of the screen you'll see uh, the address for my blog uh, all the information's on there um, or you can contact me on twitter facebook or google plus